Yuito? Captain Seto? What is Seto Platoon doing here? Kyoka, can you back us up? We need to withdraw. Right. It's ridiculous for us to fight our allies. Gamma, come with me. Tell me what's gotten into you. No, I... We'll draw off the OSF around us. I doubt they are willing to take on two Septentrions. Would you say the same <laughs> if it were me, Luca? my brother to me. Don't fool yourself! Come at me all together. I'll take you on. different this time. Understood. However... No! Everyone, get back!
Looks like I got blown away and separated from the group. I'm in trouble if I don't find everyone else. Vivi's using a brain field. I thought the strength would be too much during an actual fight. So that's the real power of a Septentry on the first class. Next, I can become even stronger. National Defense Forces. If they stand in my way, I'll eliminate them. Is that you, Kasane? You okay? Y yes Everyone, prepare to deploy! that people turned into others they're national defense forces right hmm yeah though the national defense forces around here are Sauron garrison are they not Sauron no from what I saw it looked like they were from Suo so it was either the national defense forces or the new Himuka government that turned Naomi into another turn Naomi into another what are you talking about captain Seto Let's go back to Karin. He knows what's going on. Sounds like there's a good reason. Okay, it'll be dangerous, but let's go back to Major General Karin. No, wait. It looks like Yuito and Nagi are nearby. Over there. We'll take the others down one by one and help them. Can you do it? Of course. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Makes me want to steal you from Kyoka Platoon. Let's go. Yuito, help Kasane. I'll get Nagi out of here. Got it. Let's go, Kasane. Vivi 
give it to me. What's going on? Do you know Kasane? I'll explain later. Just do your best to survive. again are you okay uh yes what do you feel sick you're really spaced out don't worry about me i'm fine anyway let's go to karin go to him can we beat him no he's not our enemy but he attacked us no i found out about naomi it's Nagi, what are you doing? No questions. I will dispose of you. <laughs> Nagi! <sighs> now I understand. Nagi, you're... Get out of my way, Captain! I can't do that. Nagi, you don't want to kill Yuito. If you do, you'll regret it. Nagi! <clears throat> then you will die! <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> We finally found 
told you. Captain Sutto! <sighs> I won't die that easily, Nagi. After all, you're a part of my platoon. I'll be damned if they take you! What's wrong? Bro, so much is happening. What the fuck, dude? Did I just fucking kill the entire universe? What the fuck is going on? What is this place? Uh, uh, Yuito. Are you alright, Kasane? Yes. <clears throat> Where are we? Hey, that's the Sumeragi Crest. And that man over there is... Dressed like the legendary Yakumo Sumeragi. The red, the red strings. They will twist through time and lead the way for you, Kasane. What is that? What's going on here? I don't get it. Yuito!
Major Kyoka. Kasane, what happened? First, we were attacked by Major General Karin. And then we were attacked by other OSF. Then there was a big earthquake. But it's strange. How did an earthquake make something like that? What is that? I don't know. But it looks like there's a gravitational anomaly around that thing. Damn. That must be why my head hurts so much. I felt a pain too. It wasn't like a normal headache. It was something different. So, none of you saw that? Then what could that have been? Maybe it was just that dream again. What are you talking about? I sometimes have these strange dreams. They're about these threads called red strings. I had one just now, but this time Yuito was there. No. Yuito may have been a dream as well. Why would we have the same dream as you? Maybe it's because the dream about the strings was more detailed than normal. And that's why you thought it was real and not a dream. Yes, but it couldn't have been. I'm not so sure. Maybe your dreams with Yuito aren't dreams and are actually experiences the two of you had. Wait. I'm sorry, Kasane, but right now we have more important things to worry about. Yeah, right. First off, if we stay here, there's a high possibility we'll get sucked into that thing. I also wonder about Suo. If Karin is serious, then it's safe to bet that something's probably going on there. I don't see Luka or Yuito either. They probably went back there as well. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. Let's hurry back to Suo. What is this? Is this... Suo? The direction, the distance we traveled, and the buildings all tell me we're at Suo. Our habaki most likely isn't working, so the city functions must be down too. It makes sense that we can't reach Haruka. I hope she's alright. Hmm... This is one of our research centers. It's half destroyed. You mean a Spring Pharmaceuticals Research Center? Yep. And there's our logo. But I don't think we had a research center in Suo. Is this really Suo? Something's not right. Oh, this terminal is still running. I'll check it out. What's that? There's something scattered on the ground over there. These are... ampules. They look just like the ones I saw on the abandoned subway. Major General Karin? Fubuki? So... cold. No. Is he dead? Major General Karin, is this the rebellion you talked about? You say you want to change the new Himuka regime. But look, you've gone and destroyed this city! Karin, is Fubuki dead because of your rebellion? <sighs> Karin, answer me! Your brother's body. Here, take it. <sighs> Kasane, so you're finally here. Uh, what? Why now? 
If you had managed to get here sooner, we could have found a way to cure the metamorphosis and turn them back to normal. Cure the metamorphosis? What do you mean? Can Naomi be saved? Save Naomi? What are you talking about? It can't be done here. This planet, no, oh, this whole dimension is at its end. It will be consumed by the Kunad Gate. Finally. I can finally save her. What... happened? That was Major General Karin's power. Skill Class SS, Brain Eater. He can copy any power and make it his own. Fubuki... I'm sorry. I want to give you a proper burial, but there's something I have to take care of first. We're following him, right? Karin just used hypervelocity. He copied it from me on orders from High Command. I'm going to follow his trail. We can still catch him if we act now. It's not like you to be so dedicated. I won't let him go until he tells me why Fubuki had to die. <laughs> Let's go. I have so much I want to ask him. Let's hurry after Karin. This trail won't last long. Your power is psychokinesis, right, Kasane? Yes, it is. I just can't figure out why he ate Kasane's power. I just can't figure out what the fuck is going on. So much shit just happened. Is his body still there? My man's is dead. I have to hurry.
Done yet. Hey, wait, someone's there. Psionics. They'll fight even while the world's ending around them. Who's that? I don't know, but it's a psionic. It looks like we have to fight back. <laughs> Trail. <laughs> 
You're giving up? I'd follow him if I could, it's just... After that distraction, too much time to pass. I have to do something. <laughs> Are you... Yuito? Huh? Impossible. That voice... Are you Kasane Randall? Yuito Sumeragi? This old man? Wait. I know that sarcastic voice. Shiden Ritter? I see. You jumped from the time of the Suo incident to this time. Hmm. I think I understand what's going on. Although I can hardly believe it myself. Yuito Sumeragi. Seems that you're blind. I'm... Arashi Spring. I know your voice. All right. So will you join the group? No. I still have powers, but as you can see, I retired from the OSF. Huh. So we should be in Suo in the year 2020, but that's not the case, correct? I knew you'd have a handle on this, Arashi. This is Suo in 2070. That's impossible. You're saying we came to the future? Uh, this is time travel! Oh, fuck! The end has begun. Come on, man. What do you mean? I fucking hate How time travel in Suo stories, in 50 years? bro. It's so I stupid. I want to explain it all, but there's no time. This planet will be destroyed soon. I, Yuito Sumeragi, led the world to destruction. What? What did you do? Major General Karin said something similar. So you met him. Regardless, it's all my fault. This world is about to disappear. It will be swallowed by the pseudo-black hole called the Kunad Gate that you and I created in the past. We created it? Was it those red strings? Yes. Kasana, your power isn't psychokinesis. It's just the gravikinesis, the power to create dimensions, behaved like psychokinesis. You have the power to travel through time. That's what those dreams of red strings were about. The red strings? So the phenomenon that appeared at Kunod brought us here? Everyone is gone! Uh, so, the time has come. I heard the only people who can exist beyond time and space are those who have the ability to travel through it. The ones you bring with you will eventually return to their former time, like they did just now. How do you know all this? Who told you? Arahabaki told me. That's why I was waiting for you to jump to the future. Let's talk somewhere else. There's no escaping danger here, but we can at least go somewhere a little safer. Let's go to OSF headquarters. I need to talk to Yuito now. It's done.
I know you're confused. Honestly, I am too. I was waiting for you to come from the past, but I still only half believed you actually would. So what happened? Fifty years ago, after the Seiron Rebellion, Nuhimuka became desperate to protect the integrity of the nation. They used me, Yuito Sumeragi, the hero who saved us all to distract the citizens. I didn't resist. My brother Kaito begged me to. I thought it was the only way. My father was assassinated and I was told you were the culprit. You had disappeared. I didn't know what to believe. I killed the chairman? I don't understand. I can't say for sure, as I wasn't there. But all the evidence pointed to you. I thought the fact that you disappeared meant you were guilty. The truth is that you jumped into the future. I wouldn't kill your father. Let's get back on topic. At the time you disappeared 50 years ago, the fighting between Seiron and Suo was heating up. I spent my days taking down others and fighting psionics allied with Seiron. During all that, it began to expand. The Kunod Gate. The pseudo black hole that you and I made. Our powers are the same. The same type of gravikinesis. So, it seems that I have the time travel power, the red strings as well. Because we had the same abilities, our powers resonated and created a gravitational anomaly. Most of it was you. I wasn't strong enough to travel through time. But what made the Kunat Gate expand? That gate is only supposed to appear at the moment of time travel and then disappear immediately. But when you used your time travel power, it didn't disappear because my power resonated with yours. Not only that, every time I used my power, the gate would warp and suck in the surrounding space. Is there no way to destroy it? Only if I die. <sighs> if I die, the traces of my power maintaining the distortion will disappear. However, I didn't make that choice. I thought there must be some other way, and everyone persuaded me to look for one. No, that's not right. In the end, I couldn't kill myself. I was afraid to die. I struggled to find a way to live, and now the gate is so big it won't go away even if I do die. That's why this world is dying. Everything will be swallowed by the black hole. So please, kill me, Kasane. I want you to go 50 years into the past, before the Kunad Gate expands too large, and end the life of the false hero, Yuito Sumeragi. No, I could never. Naomi cares about you too much. Besides, how am I supposed to go back to the past? Red strings are triggered by swings in emotion. For example, when you are shaken by some type of emotional shock. But there's nothing to affect me right now. It's all right. I thought about that. All those years, all of it was for this moment. What is that? Other research has progressed in the last 50 years. We can now call them to us using sounds they like. We still can't make them go away, though. Others? I can't believe you'd do this! I'm sure I sound pretentious for assuming, but you're shocked now, aren't you? This isn't funny! Help me fight this other! I think I understand why you killed my father now. W what? Nuhimuka was researching how to change people into others. It was Nuhimuka that changed Naomi into another 50 years ago. <gasps> mm. 
My father was the one directing that research. Even the hero Yuito Sumeragi knew that fact. And even knowing the cruelty of it, I eventually became chairman and I continued the research. You continued it? Many people ended up like Naomi. I continued the research on powers to find a way other than my own death that would close the gate. Yuito Sumeragi was just a mirage. A false hero who killed the world. So... What are you doing? Why do you have that knife? Forgive me, Kasane. It's up to you now. <clears throat> Suo, I think this is real, but is it? Kasane, there you are. Oh, I can't hear you, so don't bother replying. Arashi told me everything. Get out of there and head for the hideout. Kyoka and the others are already there. Hurry! Telepathic communication from Haruka. Then this is the present? I made it back. Copy that. I'm headed to the hideout. Welcome back, Kasane. I'm glad you made it back to our time safely. Arashi had my head spinning with worry with all her wild theories. Yeah, sorry. I didn't have much information to go on, so I assume the worst. Now we can hear what Kasane experienced rather than just my assumptions. Did anything happen after we got dragged back to the present? Yuito asked me to kill the Yuito in our time. What? What do you mean? Oh. So you're saying that the fact that the world is ending in 2070 is Yuito's fault? That pseudo-black hole that appeared at Kunod. It's not a black hole, strictly speaking. It's something similar that was created by Kasane and Yuito's powers. It's probably created as a means to actively move through time. It was created by a human brain, so it should have a systematic mechanism to its creation. Since it's not disappearing, it's negatively affecting the world. So, you agreed to it? No. I came back before we reached a conclusion. Hmm. Maybe that was future Yuito's plan. The time travel power. 
The red strings are affected by Kasane's strong emotions. When something shocking occurs, her emotions must be stored as a kind of energy. Since Kasane is unable to control her time travel power, it activates immediately. I was worried there was a danger she could become lost in time and unable to return to the present. However, that doesn't seem to be the case. There must be some kind of guide when Kasane makes a time jump. She must be attracted to time periods she has already experienced or is familiar with. And Kasane sees that guide as red strings. So, future Yuito assumed that by increasing Kasane's emotional level, she would return to this time. I don't care about the logic of it. Are you gonna kill that damn kid? I don't know. It's not an easy decision to make. Right. I'm sorry for yelling. Calm down, everyone. So much has happened to Kasane. She has a lot on her plate. Let's rest a bit and think about it later. It's much easier to change the future than the past. In the future that we glimpsed, Kasane never returned to the present and stayed in the future. Right, Arashi? Yeah, that future disappeared when Kasane came back. However, Yuito's existence still holds the key to the future of this world. Even though that future is gone, the possibility of a similar future still remains. Obviously, I think we should do whatever we can to prevent that. <laughs> People always say you're lazy, Arashi, but it's great that you think hard work is so noble. How rude. I just hate wasting time and I spare no effort to avoid it. So there's no reason for you to rush to a decision. Got it? All right. It might be good to talk to Arashi. We all went into the future. I saw it with my own eyes, but I still can't believe it. So many ancient people dreamed of time travel. I guess humanity's wish has come true. That was a future I didn't want to see. You seem pretty knowledgeable about time travel. Why is that? I was just curious, so I studied it. For example, it can be said that precognition is a power that deals with time. As long as that exists, it's very likely that time travel exists too. What an amazing power that would be. I mean, if I could control time, I could be as lazy as I wanted. Alright, uh... Wow. I, I, I ain't got any words, bro.
came. Sorry to call on you all of a sudden. I don't mind. First, let me apologize to you. Naomi was turned into an other because I wasn't strong enough to stop it from happening. I'm really sorry for the pain I've caused you. I don't blame you for that. Anyway, what did my sister give you? This. It's her handwriting. Why do you have a handwritten letter from my sister? She never told me you two were close. I don't think we were. We didn't fight together for too long, and we didn't exchange many words with each other either. However, Naomi didn't let that stop her from reaching out to me. Just read the letter. These are... recipes. I have a habit of taking on too much work, so I'd often eat very poorly. I thought I hid how tired I was pretty well. But one day, Naomi called me over and handed me this. She said she put together some simple and nutritious recipes, so I could take better care of myself when I was busy. She could have just messaged me, but she went through the trouble of writing it out. Can you believe that? That's just like her. I was grateful, but it also made me think. How could I neglect my own health to the point where even a rookie was worried? I'm sure Naomi was busy herself, having just joined the OSF. She was always like that. She'd always prioritize others over herself. So did the recipes help? Yes. They were easy, tasty, and nutritious. These recipes helped me take better care of myself. I didn't have much experience cooking, but she listed all the steps I needed very carefully. As I read her notes while I cooked, I began to notice how caring each word felt. My sister was the best. But why are you giving this to me if it's helped you? It's something she made for you. Handwritten letters are quite precious in this day and age. I thought it would be better if her sister had it. I memorized the recipes already. Besides, nobody has more heard about Naomi than you. The person who needs it the most should have it. All right, I'll hold on to it then. I feel better now that I've given it to you. What do you mean? Are you saying you couldn't wait to get rid of my sister's letter? No. I didn't mean it like that. It's just that I'm reminded of what happened to Naomi every time I look at it. I've been with the OSF for a long time. I thought I was used to losing friends. But I still can't accept what happened to her. Whenever I remember, it makes me painfully aware of my own powerlessness. I feel like someone's squeezing my heart. If only I'd looked after the platoon better. There's a chance I could have prevented what happened to her. I'm sorry for unloading on you like this. I know that nobody is more hurt about her than you are. It's fine. It's not like anything you tell me will make it worse. I see. But as long as you continue fighting, you'll eventually encounter something you won't be able to carry on your own. As someone who's been in the OSF for many years, maybe I can help. Just reach out whenever you need me. I don't think anything like that will happen, but I will on the off chance it does. Well, if we're done here, I'm going back. All right. He seemed like he really blamed himself for Naomi. I hate to see him waste my sister's kind gesture. Damn, she's kind of a dick, huh? Jesus.
Asane, are you getting enough rest? Don't worry about me. I know how to take care of myself. Okay, but you're looking unusually disheveled today. I just thought you were so tired with everything that happened that you didn't even notice. Disheveled? Like your hair clip. It's kind of dirty. Huh? You're right. I need a clean cloth and detergent. Should be in the kitchen. Hey, you don't need to be so frantic. At least you're not lacking energy. Okay, there. It's all clean now. Hmm. What? Nothing. I was just thinking about how carefully you're handling it. And it was pretty unusual to see you lose your cool over a hair clip. This isn't just any hair clip. Naomi made it. We both have one. Oh yeah, she did wear something like that. She made them when I was younger to show that we were sisters. I can't believe I left it that dirty without noticing. Hmm. Are sentimental items really that important? Of course they are. Even though I'm sure it's just a hair clip to you. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. I just thought it was a little curious, that's all. I don't have any sentimental item with my brother Fubuki. Nothing? You must at least have a picture. No, not even a digital image saved. It just takes up room and is a pain to maintain. Even a digital copy ends up being a waste of storage space. I'm just not the sentimental type, that's all. Is that what a relationship between a sister and brother is like? It feels really distant. Everyone's different. Your relationship seems strange to me. Really? Yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to take a break. You should learn from me and make it a point to rest well. Learn from you? I'll have to think that one over. What's there to think about? Come and ask me any time, I'd be happy to teach you. I guess there's a part of me that assumed all siblings were close like me and Naomi. There does seem to be something off about Arashi and Major General Fubuki's relationship. Kyoka, there's something I've been wondering ever since I joined the OSF. What is it? You seem very different during battles. I could be wrong, but it's almost like you're not the same person. Oh, I guess you never had a chance to watch me fight when you were a cadet. It seems like I completely change personalities when there's some sort of competition. A lot of people are like that. Are you talking about Kyoka's battle mode? It always surprises the rookies to see her suddenly go into beast mode. I'm not that scary, am I? Not scary. Just a little surprising. Wanna know something interesting? She was always like that in the past. I know because Kyoka and I graduated the same year. Really? Yeah. You were famous among our class for being hard to approach. You started to change when you joined the OSF, getting friendlier every year. And now look how kind you've become. You only see the old traces of you during battle. I guess people change. Oh, look at the time. I've got an important nap to attend to. Later. That's so strange. Do you have any idea why you changed? What was it that caused you to act differently? Why I changed? I'm not sure. Maybe because the old me only saw herself. Hmm. But after making so many friends in the OSF, I formed more connections with the people around me. Then I started wanting to cherish each of my relationships. That could be why I started looking after everyone. The old you is someone I'd gladly trust to have my back. But I'm happy I met this version. 
<laughs> I'm happy to hear you say that. I hope I'll be able to stay this way. What's wrong? What? Uh, oh, nothing. Hmm? That was really interesting hearing old stories about you. Really? Just ask me if there's anything else you want to know. Oh! Do you want me to tell you about one of my favorite fortune-telling sites? No, that's okay. I'm not really interested in that. <laughs> you don't need to be so shy. We should go get our fortunes read together sometime.
Thank you. I tried putting on an item I had. Do I look different? You changed. You look so stylish. <laughs>
I'm so tired. I want to see my sister. That's Captain Seto's pen. What's it doing here? Naomi, Captain Seto. Everyone is leaving me. This feeling. I felt it before, a long time ago. It feels suffocating. Am I forgetting something important? Kasane, can you wake up? Uh, yes. It seems Suo has declared a state of emergency. Let's go check it out. Karin may be on the move. I'm worried about Haruka, and we still haven't found Luka. We might figure some things out if we go to Suo. Shiden, are you fine with this? You don't need to worry about me. I suppose so. You were trying to join Karin's side before. <laughs> we pretended not to notice. So, what are you going to do? I... Uh... I have no idea. I trusted Major General Karin, but he attacked me at Kunad. Maybe he thought you betrayed him because you were with us. I need to give Karin a piece of my mind as well. I'm coming with you to Suo. All right. Let's head to Suo then, everyone. It's too quiet. Maybe the rebel OSF and the Seiron garrison aren't here yet. I'd ask Haruka, but Sainet is down and I can't make contact. Be careful. It looks like someone shut down the Suo defense system. There are others invading Suo. On top of that, the OSF are fighting amongst themselves and I can't get into the operator's room. I'll do my best to find out what's going on, so hide somewhere until then. Kyoka. Kasane, did you just get a telepathic message? You both zoned out one after the other just now. Yes, from Haruka. It looks like someone has shut down the Suo defense system. There's infighting in the OSF, and she can't get into the operator's room. I just got a telepathic message from Haruka, too. So did I. She's having a hard time. OSF infighting. So Karin's rebels are already in the city. Haruka told us to hide. It looks like we can't do that, though. It'll take too long to chip away at its shell. Just use psychokinesis and hit it with something heavy. be more. Be careful. Kagura? What is it? Did you see Kagura? Yes. Did he? We were fighting others, so there's no way he could have missed us. 
He might have been running from us. Why would Kagero run from us? I don't know. Maybe he's doing something shady. Hmm. The OSF are fighting each other. Kagero might know something. I don't know if we can track him, but let's head to the OSF headquarters. Weren't we told to hide? With others in the city, the only places we can hide are a hideout or a shelter. Civilians use the shelters, so we can't go there. You're right. We can take out others along the way. That should help the citizens a little. Kagero should be with Yuito and the others, right? He might be a car inside. Regardless, we'll know if we catch him and ask him.
done. What? I can protect everyone better now. Next. The city's vision all went out at once. The city computer Arahabaki shut down. It controls the city functions. So if you shut it down, everything goes down. It's so boring without the computer-generated signs. So this is what duds see. Duds? 
What do you mean? People without powers. They don't have powers, so they're duds. It's discriminatory. You're right, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have used that term. The city functions were made to be used by civilians, people with powers. It's not set up for those without powers. Most people do have some kind of power. Arahabaki wouldn't shut down by itself. Karin plotted a rebellion with Seiron. It would be in their way. We're almost to a shelter. You must be kidding me. Are they conducting that experiment in the middle of the city? There's no way. Then why are there others in the city? Isn't that why the city functions are frozen? Stop right there. Who are you? OSF? I'm not here for you. Hey, Kasane. What experiment? The one to turn people into others? <sighs> it is, isn't it? It's just like future Yuito said. Get away from the counselor! Are you part of the rebellion too? What do you mean by that? We were attacked by psionics on that road over there. All you rebels would be attacking counselors. Wait. Were you the only ones attacked? No. Chairman Sumeragi was attacked as well. We all ran. Hold them! They know about the Metamorphosis experiments! Hey, wait! If Chairman Sumeragi is up ahead, I may be able to ask him about Metamorphosis. And if he doesn't die here, maybe we can avoid that ruinous future.
done. Close. Dad. Kasane, are you okay? Dad! What are you doing? In the end, they'll still think I killed him. But that future wasn't supposed to happen if I wasn't here. I'm here, so that future won't happen. Yuito, you must die. What? What are you saying? I made a promise to you. Arm yourself! Promised me that you'd kill me? What are you talking about? You don't need to understand. Die. I don't have a choice. <laughs> Definitely get Yuito. Yes, I should be able to do it. I have to now. I want to protect the world to save my sister. I'll do whatever I need to do that. I will kill him.
this be Kasane's brain field? I'll finish this quickly. You have to die. That's the only solution I know. sick. It's like I'm losing myself. This is a brain field? <laughs> Kasane! I'm sorry, Yuito. I understand if you hate me. You're still breathing. I'll finish it now. Wait! What are you doing? Why are you trying to kill me? And my father... Kasane, did you stab my father? <laughs> Wait, what's this? Attention all citizens of New Himuka, you blind fools who denied the truth before your own eyes. I am Karin Travers of the OSF. I reject the control of the new Himuka government, as one of the Awoken. My allies and I have decided to cooperate with Seiron, who share our will. Stay here and you'll be caught. Get back to Shiden if you want to escape. Sunny's getting away. Wait! Wait! Wake up, citizens of New Himuka. Seiron protects the free will of the people and offers an environment for them to live as human beings. I promise to uphold that standard. There are no requirements to join us. I stood at the front lines of Ceyron and rebelled against a society that would control humans and only allow some of them rights. Now, I will destroy the new Himuka regime with Ceyron as my homeland. What begins now is an escape from oppressive control. A revolution! To those of you who are awake, those who wish to awaken, Come join my cause in Ceyron! Help me destroy the new Himuka regime, and put an end to their tyranny forever! Kagero, why did you stab Chairman Sumeragi? What? 
How about you tell me why you tried to kill Yuito? Because I was asked to. Okay, then, so was I. My employer ordered me to assassinate the chairman to stop New Himuka's rampage. I planned on framing someone for the assassination, but unfortunately for you, you took my bait. I'm sorry, but I have no plans to confess. Kagero, you're from Togetsu, and you're a believer in the Togetsu faith. Did Togetsu order you? I cut my ties with Togetsu. Besides, there's only one group who'd want the chairman dead at this point. So you were ordered by Seiron. That's enough for now. Yuito will catch up to us if we keep talking here. We'll retreat to Vision City for now. We can talk then, all right? Yes. Kagero, don't try to run by turning invisible. I'm holding on to you. I'm no match for you, Major Kyoka. I'll be a good boy. Sorry, Kasane, for making you the fall guy. I didn't do it on purpose. For real. Forget that. Why did you assassinate Chairman Sumeragi? I can't believe someone from Togetsu would trust Seiron. Don't ask me, I just did what I was told. Maybe it's because my power is suited for assassination.
I never thought we'd be rebels. You never know what life will throw at you. Seriously. Maybe I'll call myself Lazy Kyoka. Nice. Then we can call it Lazy Platoon. I always thought you were suited for wet work. I never thought you'd actually use it that way. Well, what can I say? If the shoe fits... You killed Yuito's father. How can you joke about it? Because I'm a bastard, and bastards do bastardly things. I finally found you. Karin. Ah, Shiden. I see you're still stuck to Kasane like flies to dung. This is the rebellion you were talking about? Yes. New Himuka wasn't satisfied with their controlled society and started that repugnant research. The research to turn people into others. In their zeal to create more powerful psionics, they began experimenting with the metamorphosis of living things. I will crush the New Himuka government for creating metamorphosis. Half of the OSF have pledged themselves to me. You should come to Ceyron as well. Well, that works for me. Just who are you, Kagero? What do you mean, Major General? I guess we both have ulterior motives. I don't mind as long as you don't get in my way. Just like old times. Huh? <gasps> you two have known each other that long? Well, you know, I... So, what are you all going to do? I... I planned to join Seiron from the beginning. Karn... To be honest... You really piss me off, Major General. But I can't get behind what New Himuka is doing. I'll go too. You know how I am. What are you going to do, Kasane? It was New Himuka that turned Naomi into another. It was. Naomi's in Seiron, right? You'll help her, won't you? I will do all I can. All right. Then I'm going to Seiron, too. This story is making less sense as I play further into this game's deep web of various confusing things. You'll never be able to go back to Suo. Oh well, I guess it is what it is. You're the one who can never go back. You're the one who killed Chairman Sumeragi. Yeah, yeah, I'm the culprit. And Shiden is an egghead from Seiron. What's that supposed to mean? Is there something wrong with being smart? Easy there. So, Arashi, you're just coming along to keep an eye on Major General Karin, right? You're worried he'll be a problem for Major General Fubuki. I'm not that attached to my brother. Sure, whatever you say. So, why are you going to Seiron, Major Kyoka? Don't tell me you're one of Karin's fans. Hmm? Would it be strange if I was a fan of Major General Karin? Wow, you strike me as more of a Major General Fubuki fan. Oh, <laughs> stop, Kagero. Do you think I'm the kind of person who would change her mind based on whether or not a person was her type? When you're in OSF command like me, you see the suspicious things the government does, even if you don't want to. But researching human metamorphosis? I can't let that go. Yeah, that's the rub. It's why half the OSF joined up with him. I'm sure none of them trust the government, and Major General's popularity certainly helps. Yes. Anyways, the OSF will be reformed one way or another. Once we get to Seiron, we may be reassigned as well. Oh, right. So what's going to happen to this hideout? This unit belongs to the Randall family, right? We should be able to continue using it. The Randall family has lots of units they don't use. I never told them we were using this in the first place. Oh, so we've been using it without permission? Well, we'll keep using it if we can. It's nice to have a place to rest. 
Once I get to Seiron, I can see my sister. Wait for me, Naomi.